Hello, my friends. So, new scenery. The um, shower pole in my shower actually broke, so I don't have that nice backdrop. So I figured I'd come in my mom's bathroom. Let me know if you like this, not my parents' bathroom. Let me know if you like this scenery because I might make more videos here because the lighting has like a dimmer and everything so I can make the lighting better and brighter when I do makeup tutorials and stuff like that. So, I am so sorry. I've neglected you guys so much. I realize it. It's been two weeks since I've made a last video. I have been so busy, you have no idea. The most lame excuse ever. I realize that, but it all evens out because I went to Lush today and I got some Valentine's Day stuff and I'm going again tomorrow because I will get to that in this video. Okay, so the most cool thing that my Lush has right now, and apparently a lot, pretty much all the Lushes are doing this, is the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. What it is, is it, it looks like this. What you, what it is, is it's a gift box, okay? And there are products that Lush is going to put in that gift box for you, but then you also have the option to choose some different products So from this area. So you don't get to pick a bath bomb, you get to pick the select products, but there are some products that you can choose between different ones. I'll just show you what I got. So one of the things that you're going to have to get that you don't have a choice over um, is a sugar scrub, and this is the green one. If you don't know what a sugar scrub is, you just break a piece off in the shower and rub it on your skin and the sugar crystals are going to exfoliate your skin and make it nice and soft. It's pretty small. I think it's like half the size of the regular one. Um, then, the next thing that they give you permanently are these three samples. First is the handy. That's how it is. But um, yeah, it's kind of hard to read, but this is a hand cream. And my mom is obsessed with this. She tried it. She loved it. And I think it smells really good compared to the other hand creams they have. And they give you a very generous sample. Look how much you get. It is insane how much they give you. And the best thing is that I'm going to Brazil in April because my cousin's getting married. Make a separate video on that later on. But um, I need airplane safe stuff. So this is airplane safe because this has 0.5 ounces. So, yeah. The next thing they give you is the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter, which I've never tried before. Everyone tells me I should, but I had never have. Smells very citrusy, and it looks like this. Again, big sample. This is kind of like the Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream. I think this actually smells the same as the Burt's Bees one. Um, but yeah, this one was free, and the Burt's Bees isn't. So again, this is a really good thing to have. And then probably my favorite, or one of the things that I have, um and I'm happy they gave me, is the Fairtrade Foot Lotion. This is an amazing lotion. It smells like toothpaste. It smells pepperminty. And if you don't like peppermint, then you're not going to like this. But I love it. It looks pink. And for my feet, I put it on my feet at night and then put these comfy socks that I have um, from Life is Good right on top so the moisturizer soaks into my feet overnight. That's good for the winter time. Two more things that they give you. They give you a vitamin C toner tablet. What you do with this is you put it in like a big bowl of bowl it boiling or very, very hot water. And then you wanna put a towel over your head and put your head like in front of the um, water and th drop this in. And the steam is gonna open up your pores and just give you a nice like facial. And these are really, really cheap. I think they're like 99 cents, so. And then the last thing that they give you is a massage bar. And this, I actually have this massage bar and I love it. I'm so happy they gave us this one. It's a smaller version, but this is the Each Peach. It doesn't smell, it smells peachy, kind of, but it smells more like citrusy. Like, it smells more like lemony flutter, but I really love that. Okay, then there are things you get to choose. You get to choose a fresh face mask, you get to choose a moisturizing cream, and you get to choose a shampoo bar. The shampoo bar I chose is this one. Not sure the name, but I think it's called like the Shine something, but it's the white one. You can know by the color. And it's white and it smells very good. I don't know how to describe it. It smells kind of like when you walk into a Lush store and you have all those scents up your nose. There's a certain smell with all those scents mixed together. And for me, in my Lush, this is what that smells like. 
smells like all the scents in the store combined. Like once you walk in, I smell this. Don't know what it is, but it smells very good. Um, yeah, so what the deal with these are is you get it wet and you rub it in your hair three times. Not that much because if you do it more and more and more, you're going to have a whole head of foam. That's what Natalie told me there. I've never used any of these. But, um, yeah, so that's what I got. And then as far as the moisturizers, I told him, the guy that was helping me, I said that I had oily and dry skin. And he recommended the vanishing cream. So I got this, again, a very generous sample. It smells very, like, um, fancy. Like, you know those Lancome moisturizers and the Lancome, I said Lancome, <laughs> Lancome and um, MAC and stuff. They smell very nice and fresh. That's what this one smells like. So that's how much they give you. So I got that. And then I'm going to have to put this in the fridge because you're supposed to refrigerate these because they don't have any preservatives. Um, as far as my fresh face mask went, I went with BB Seaweed because I've never tried this. I've always used the fresh face mask or, no, the Love Lettuce. And so, yeah, and this one was made by Rosie. So thank you, Rosie, for making this. And um, looks like this. It's supposed to be very good for all skin types, but it's supposed to be very, very good for sensitive skin as well. So that's what I got in that little thing. Tons of products, right, guys? And that's a great deal because that was only $25. And then the Valentine's Day came, stuff came out. And I can honestly say that there was not a single product in that collection that I didn't like the smell of. It was bad for me, but, I mean, it was bad for, like, the wallet, but it is good for the baths and stuff because it smells so good. The first thing that I got are the Magic Mushroom Bubble Bars. These are a adorable. Look at these. They're little mushrooms. So cute. And they smell very, very good. I don't, they don't smell like any of the soaps or anything, so I really don't have anything to compare the scent to, but it does smell very, very good. And um, she crumbled this under the water, and it is so pretty. It's going to turn your bath pink, pinkish red. The next thing I got was the soap that came out. And um, I'm not... Sh this is called... Not positive on the name. I always forget the names because sometimes they put labels on the bags, but they didn't this time. I think it's called like Love or something like that. There's only three things in this collection. So it's just a soap and it's in the shape of a heart and there are sparkles in there. And the sparkles are actually very exfoliating. Um, we tested this out in the water. And it smells like Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. And I love that bath bomb so much. It is probably my favorite second to Honey Bee Bath Bomb. But, yeah, this is so nice. I got two just because of the size, but I love this soap. It smells so good. Mm, I cannot wait to use this. And then the last thing I got was the last thing that came out with the collection, which is the X Factor Bubble Bar. I mean, no, the X Factor um, Bath Bomb. And it is a gingerbread man or a little guy with a little heart. His little heart's going out. And it is so Good. It smells like, um, I thought it smelled like Butterball, but then Natalie, the woman working there, hey Natalie, um, she said that it also smelled kind of like vanilla to her, and I smelled it, and I was like, oh my god, it smells like vanilla ice cream with a side of Butterball bath bomb. It literally smells like that. It smells so good. Mmm, I love this. And I'm not a big fan of the smell of Butterball, so I liked how it wasn't very identical to that scent. And that's all I got, and just letting you guys know, if you guys are going to be at the Rockingham Mall tomorrow, you should know Rockingham Mall, Lush, is having this party, and with the head, shoulders, knees, and toes, you're going to get this thing, and in it comes with a little mustache. And what you can do, it's a mustache party tomorrow at the Lush store, and I'll be there around 2 o'clock, so if you want to see me, or if you want to say hi, or if you want to go to Lush, I'll be there, and, um... Yeah, so what you do is you wear your mustache, or you can make your own. I am probably going to make my own by drawing it in with eyeliner. Just for fun, might add some glitter or something. I really have no idea. So if you see a girl with curly brown hair and a mustache on, the odds are that's Thank you guys so much for subscribing because I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. And you guys may not have known this, but I'm actually going to be throwing a ginormous contest. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a fantastic night. Ciao!